Alright guys, now you're ready to do some fonts and effects. Let's do this. I know you've been waiting for it. I know you've been excited for it. Now let's do it. Alright? So on the left hand side, you got, you know, there's a thing called type tool. You click on that. Double click on that. Double click on that. Oh, sorry. You <laughs> right click on that. Because uh, I'm a dumbass in there. They have horizontal, vertical, horizontal type mask, vertical type mask tools, you know. Personally, you know, vertical up and down, you know, you know your stuff, you know your stuff, you ain't dumb. So, I'm going to click on the horizontal type, and what this thing is, very easy, very simple, you just drag, and stop. Boom. Okay. Now you're ready. Now, say if you make a picture for, I don't know, some random scrub name, X. It's in black right now, so it doesn't look good, but I'll show you how to fix that. X, I, D, L, X, school. Yeah, a random scrub. <laughs> Just kidding, school. He ain't no random, and he's definitely not a scrub. He will mess you up, though, with those Supermans. Fuck. But anyways, back to the point. Uh, Hit enter, you know, when you're done. Now you can move it around. Now, I will position it. You can move it down below him or whatever. I'm going to position it, say, right above him. Kind of looks cool like that, I guess. Now, get your wand tool. Get that magic wand we've been using all along. And select, you know, this. All right? So, I want to give this thing a fiery effect to this. You know, a fiery look like the background. All right? So... Let's use that stamp tool we was talking about the other day. All right. Let's go to the background. Click the background, please. Don't be like a dumbass like me and not click the background. And I just kept coloring the same damn thing. I was like, why isn't it colored? Oh, I didn't click the background. Yeah, click the background. So click on the fiery part. Then go back. Click back to the text. Make sure you do this. And color it in. Boom. Has a little fire effect to that. You see that? See that? All right. Let's fast forward a little bit. All right. So now we got all that colored in, and I know what you're saying right now. But but Chima, that that doesn't really look good. That that really doesn't really look good. Well, don't worry about that. Uh, we'll do the effects on that right now. So all you do is just go to that layer and double click on it. And something should pop up. <clears throat> like this. Now you got different styles and stuff. You see, you got drop shadow. Boom. You got inner shadow. Boom. You got outer glow. Boom. And you got inner glow. Boom. That doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look way better? Hmm? I also got these other ones. Makes that one look fat. Makes this one look dark. It's pretty cool. You got the color overlay. Remember color. Oops. Oops. My dumbass. Alright. Then you also got green it overlay. Pattern overlay. Bubbles. And you also got a stroke. It's pretty cool also. So I'll keep it like that. And, and we're done. Well, with the text. Now that that looks pretty cool, even though it is a little basic. If it's it's a little basic, so it's alright. It's alright. I'm just gonna say it's alright. But for the picture, we can do multiple, you know, effects for it. But you know, I'm gonna show you the same effects as I did for the text. It looks all it looks alright. It looks alright too. So let's go to that. Double click on the layer for the picture. There we go. And bring this down so we can see his face. And you can do the same thing here. Drop shadow. Let's smooth out those edges with the inner shadow. And we can also do outer glow, inner glow. But my personal look is that dark look. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that, yeah, that dark side. Nigga, that sh that's the shit right there, nigga. Woo, that's that dark side shit. Woo, look at that. Look at that shit. But, you know, once you're done with that, you know, you can press OK. And there you go. 
but uh you know you can get more complex with this you know what i'm saying you don't have to stop here you know you can say you're done with the picture right now it's it, it's basic it's pretty much basic right here but if you want to go more advanced what you're going to do here is double click on the effects right so double click on the drop shadow and it should come up now and we can modify the angle of the shadow we can modify the inner shadow we can set the color for the outer glow pretty sweet set the color for the inner glow and so on and so on so yeah you can get pretty complex there and that's not even half of the effects right here there's more there's way more effects you got artistic effects colored pencil blur brush there's a whole lot you can do so yeah just play around with it I'm gonna show you in the next tutorial like uh, transparent reflections on text and picture so it's gonna be pretty beast tonight there's more you can do this picture add logos I'm gonna show you how to do all that next tutorial all right so yeah if you have any questions hit me up on Xbox live gamertag X Chima with two eyes uh, aim playboy space X I X and uh, yeah I'm almost done so I'll catch you guys later. Oh, another thing. Sorry about not posting a tutorial. Like, as I said, two days before 4th of July, I was going by the motto, party hard, sleep harder. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed your 4th of July. But anyways, peace out. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> Gears of War font. By the end of this video, right now, keep watching, you will get the URL for the Gears of War font, the one I used right now, right here, all right? So peace out, peace out, little bitches. Ugh, peach. I don't want no goddamn peach. Peace out. Yeah,